Hey, here we are again. Thank goodness. This is Jay Nicholas with the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Um, I'll take some deer hair, foam, a little bit of Lady Amherst, and some, some who knows what. <laughs> Make a really nice skating fly for summer steelhead. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am the glare in my lights. Let's get going here. I'm going to tie a summer steelhead skater that's inspired by Brett Jensen's Klamath Skater. Um, I'm not very organized right now. Please forgive me. Um, I'm using white thread because it's 210D and it's going to tolerate my foam a little bit better. This is a uh, hairline um, UV polar chenille and it's a copper with olive and you notice it looks kind of snarly but that's just the way I like it now I'm going to throw on a few strands of lateral scale hopefully it isn't too frizzy here not very much don't need much actually gonna wet that too and these are kind of long a couple turns that side of the hook a couple turns that side this is a really nice summer steelhead skater works best in flat glassy water not so good in real turbulent water lady Amherst fibers and I'm just going to kind of clump them on top nice and long and then spread them out a little bit. Spread them around the hook before I get them locked in. There we go. This is I am more and more gravitating towards flies that are a little bit easier to tie. I've spent enough time tying intruders. A little dab of penetrator cement right here. Now, my foam. This is thin foam. I'm going to cut a little strip there. How wide is that? I bet that's a little bit under a half an inch. And I'm going to put a notch, which you don't have to. It looks kind of cool, especially if you get it right. It actually works. There we go. So, here we go. Hold it on top. One turn, almost no tension. Second turn, no tension. Now I'm kind of supporting that on both sides and cinching down. And if I let it, that would spin, but I don't let it. Now I come underneath this side, put another little drop of cement. Nah, I'm not going to put. Pretend I'm putting a little bit of super glue on the thread, okay? Thank you. That was super glue. Then I make a couple more wraps there. That will lock it in very nicely. Now, we're almost done. This is such an awesome fly. You can use any deer hair of your preference. At the moment, I'm rather fond of... Uh, was it nature's spirit humpy hair and I'm gonna get this this is fairly short I'm gonna trim it first put it right there and this is a fly I will grease this fly two turns then cinch straight down and that is all you need Nice and firm. Now we lock it in.
I would finish there. Now if I ran some super glue on that thread, that would be awesome. Nice and tight. Just a little drop there. Now I'm going to cut another little notch. And this is just a personal design that I um, picked up from a gentleman on Facebook. I think it was John Garrett, but I'm not sure. I have a terrible memory. Look at that fly. It's got little trailing bitlings. It's going to wake really nicely. It's a quick tie, but gosh, fish really, they really do love this fly. As I uh, say again, uh, Brett Jensen, Aquaflies, he's the inspiration. This is my variation by a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have had making this video. Thanks. Get out there. Go fishing.